If you want to get published, there are five areas you need to strengthen so you can land yourself a proper deal with a publisher who will give you the right levels of support so you can become a professional author. Even if you're considering self-publishing, these are the kinds of industry skills that will help you to get where you want to be and sell some books and even make some money. That'd be good, wouldn't it? What can these five things be that you aren't doing already? Well, let's get stuck in with marketing. You, we don't like that, do we? You don't like it, you don't do it, you don't understand it. And if you've ever tried, well, how did that go for you? You're on Twitter, you're on Facebook, you're on Instagram. Nobody cares, right? You've got a website, you've done some blogging. Doesn't sell any books, does it? It's just really frustrating. Everything about marketing just seems to suck up time that you'd rather spend happily immersed in your story world writing. But listen, it's critical. This is the hard part of being a writer and you have to do it. But the great news is, Marketing's actually really easy. It's the biggest tripwire for writers like you, and yet with a couple of simple techniques I'm gonna show you, you'll be a whole new proposition in the way you take yourself to the industry and in how you go about actually selling some books, which we're gonna to come to shortly in the secret source there coming up soon. So look, I am the creative director of a digital marketing agency, and I'm an expert in a type of marketing called story branding. Okay, I'm gonna go into a little detail on story branding in a minute, but in essence, it uses story dynamics to create your marketing campaigns. So it plays to your strengths as a writer and as a storyteller, and it becomes easy for you to massively differentiate yourself from the competition. You have to do some marketing, okay? It's critical. If you don't do anything, you won't get anywhere. It's a harsh truth, but this method doesn't just work to differentiate you as an author. It's actually fascinating and you're gonna love it. Writers I've taught this to who thought they hated marketing are now working in marketing. So it's, it's that good, okay? So three of the video seminars I'm going to give you for free over the coming days in your author launch masterclass will be focused on getting your knowledge and ability in marketing up to scratch. And it not only helps you to sell books, we also use story branding to help you to approach the industry because you have to sell yourself to the publishers first, right? So number two, I'm gonna show you how the publishing industry works. And it's a double whammy because selling yourself to the industry is also an example of how story branding works, okay? If you're going to package and present yourself to the industry that's gonna give you a career, you'd better understand that industry and the work of the publishers and the agents and the managers and the producers that you're gonna be hitting up, right? You need to understand what drives them, what keeps them awake at night. What does success look like for a publisher? What are they looking for that will solve the problems they have? And how do we use story branding in your approach to the industry to get a deal? Well, just as a quick example, let's use a basic story model, the hero's journey, to show you how you might market yourself at the industry. And here's a huge hint. The hero of your journey to getting yourself published and getting your books out there, the hero of your journey is not you. The hero of your journey, in story branding terms, becomes the publisher that you're hitting up, right? They are the ones who can bring you the success you want. So we create a story, placing that publisher as the hero of your journey, and we construct your marketing campaign around a success story for that publisher to get a win in their terms from your hero's journey. Do you see, in this way, instead of being an author begging for a deal from a publisher, you go to them with the answer to their prayers. You know what success looks like for them, so you make all the effort you can to be the answer to their prayers. And guess what? You stand out like a nugget of gold on a muddy hillside. You get them and they love it and they start to come towards you. They want to work with you. Now that's a better dynamic, isn't it? 
This is you turning pro, being professional, taking ownership of your career and how it's going to go. And when publishers see a writer being professional at their level, they love you immediately and your prospects change in an instant. So I'm going to send you a seminar on this and I'll send you a seminar on other aspects of how the industry works too. Things have changed in the publishing industry a lot in recent years. So we'll take a look at what sort of deals are done these days. What should you expect? What should you avoid? Vanity publishing. Don't go near. We're not going anywhere near that kind of nonsense, but you get the idea. Okay, so number two, we're going to understand how the industry works and how to deal with it. Which brings us to skill set number three, which is a perfect example of an area where the vast majority of writers fall drastically short of putting in the right effort and energy and leaving themselves ever so likely to get left behind. What can this be? Well, it's extremely important if you want to become a seriously top writer that you gain an advanced understanding of how stories work. Okay, when you find yourself in an editorial meeting or a production company meeting with a publisher or a producer, you're the story person, right? They're looking for you to provide the story expertise, right? The whole project is built on you and your story, so you better understand how it gets its power to grip and engage a receiver of your story so you can take charge of it knowledgeably. And of course, this understanding will help you to craft your story in the first place with confidence and with knowledge. So it's the most powerful and effective it can possibly be. So I'm going to teach you an entire course on the most contemporary and advanced understanding of story theory there is available anywhere on the planet today. Okay, you will have noticed how things have changed in the sort of Internet era with the um, arrival of Netflix and Amazon Prime and these more agile character driven stories. You need to understand what's going on here because there's been a phase shift. Okay, it's called the knowledge gap theory and its principles apply to every story ever made in any genre, in any medium, in any format of any duration and from any time in history. All stories from pre-biblical times to the latest Netflix binge, okay, and from Greek tragedies to a criminal's alibi. Every story ever made, including yours. These are universal psychological principles of story you will be using. You are using them already, whether you like it or not. So you might as well understand them and use them knowingly, right? Just quickly, here's a top level. An author crafts knowledge gaps into a narrative and the receiver of that narrative automatically and unconsciously perceives those gaps in knowledge and fills those gaps for themselves with knowledge from their own life and experience. In doing so, by filling those gaps, they complete the story. They build your story in mind for themselves by filling in the gaps and they love it. They become a producer on the project, effectively producing it in their own head. That is story building. That is how stories work. This process of building a logical human narrative for yourself in mind from nothing but language is the joy and the deep satisfaction of story. And it's all based on knowledge gaps. The more gaps there are, the deeper they run and the more they persist, the more highly rated that story is by public opinion. And the knowledge that goes into the gaps you craft as an author is called subtext. Aha, it's as beautiful and as simple as that. If you've done any courses, you've probably been told you have to write in subtext, right? And most authors struggle with this. They don't really know how. They know what subtext is conceptually, but they find it really hard to write in subtext. How do you tell your story without mentioning it, right? The secret is authors don't work with subtext. An author works with knowledge gaps in order that the receiver of your story can work with subtext. Okay. It's superb knowledge to add to your underlying talent and skill as a storyteller because it empowers you to understand what's giving your story its power. Once you understand this, you own your story. You own the whole space. You don't need to go casting around for someone else's opinion. You don't need some expert to tell you if your story is any good or not because you're going to know 
You're going to understand the knowledge gaps and the subtext in your story, and this will give you the self-confidence and the reassurance that what you're doing is right, and the doubts all just go away, and you work more quickly and more productively, and your story becomes dimensionally stronger, and the reader experience is transformed. And get this, once you understand how knowledge gaps work, you understand the power in every story that's ever been made. Your presence around the table in that editorial meeting or in that production meeting is now a confident, knowledgeable, expert presence. You're not a charity case that's been given a deal. You're there by rights as the owner and the driver of the whole project. And I'm gonna take you to that level of knowledge and confidence and influence, and it's gonna change your future, okay? Without a story, what have we got? Nothing. And so you are the foundation for everything that the publishing company does, right? So you need to own that space and understand it. So I'm gonna give you an entire seminar on understanding how stories work. In fact, it's the first one that I give you in the Author Launch Masterclass. So you'll receive this one as soon as you click the button below a video seminar on knowledge gaps and subtext and understanding how stories work. Now, how do I know this stuff? Well, I've been a story consultant on hundreds of stories for books and for films and for television series. I'm an author of 10 books myself. These are some of them here. Um, I've sold tens of thousands of books in multiple languages the world over. So I have that experience of being an emotionally driven writer, but I'm also a PhD researcher in narrative theory. And I have invented the most contemporary and advanced understanding of how stories work. The knowledge gap theory is my theory. I've proven it in academia. I've written four books on the subject as well as a PhD thesis, and I'm responsible for the most revolutionary change in our understanding of how stories work since Aristotle. I'm also a film producer for a production company called Skylark Vision. We have, I think, eight or 10 films and TV series on our slate right now, and I'm a story consultant and a producer on all of those productions. And of course, I'm also a founder and owner of Dream Engine Publishing. So look, the point is, you're gonna get the tools to take your natural God-given talent and enhance it with a little bit of formal knowledge to make your stories absolutely the best they can possibly be. And you'll be getting that first Knowledge Gap video seminar right after this. By the way, I've also worked with hundreds of writers over the years, and this slides us gracefully into number four, which is how to apply this material in your actual working day using a story development process. I teach an established classic story development process using a tool called a step outline, but enhanced for the modern day, taking into account the knowledge gaps and the subtext which define the power in your story. And I show you live on screen how to develop a story from those first initial seeds of inspiration all the way through the gradual building of the development process to the point where there is a book in your hands, a final story, or a film up there on a big screen. And I've put my money where my mouth is. I've actually made a movie using the step outline principles that I teach. It's a short film called Bella, and it's out there for you to see for yourself. It's on Amazon Prime. I'll give you the links in the masterclass. And you can follow the entire story development process online from those first tiny seeds of inspiration for the story through the full step outline documented in this book all the way through to its glorious final production up there on the big screen. I'm also developing a novel with an aspiring writer Emily and I have been working together live on Zoom calls and you can see us and you can follow that entire process as she developed her story from first principles with my guidance. And in the coming year, I'm writing a novel called My Akin and I'm developing a feature film for that story in exactly this way. And I'm really excited for you to see the entire story development process grow from those first seeds of inspiration 
all the way through every step of the development process to a premiere in London and in Los Angeles. And I'm hoping I can actually involve writers like you in this process. And some people will come along to the um, premieres and maybe get to be extras in the film. But either way, you'll be able to directly apply these principles to your own stories and to your own method to make your stories the best they can possibly be. Okay, so you'll be getting an entire seminar in the masterclass on the story development process, but I really have to move on. So number five, this one is a big one, okay? The one that actually does the business for you when it comes to selling books. This is what I call the author mythology. Now, if you've self-published or perish the thought, vanity published, or even if you've been traditionally published, to be honest, you don't need me to tell you you didn't sell any books, right? And just quickly, here's basically why. Here's the problem. If you think about an author or a character or even a story world, you'll associate all those things together as one. So if I say to you, JK Rowling, you get story images in your head, right? Maybe a character. What immediate association do you make? My guess is you thought of Harry Potter and maybe Hogwarts and dark magic and maybe Dumbledore, right? These are the images that came into your mind, right? If I said to you, Gordon Ramsay, what immediately comes into your mind? Well, probably angry, sweary, sort of cooking with half a dozen poor young saps suffering, horrendous, suffering horrendously as they try and cook stuff in the name of entertainment, right? Angry, swear, well, probably angry, sweary cooking with half a dozen poor young saps suffering horrendously as they try to cook in the name of entertainment, right? Now notice, with J.K. Rowling, you didn't think about a book, did you? And with Gordon Ramsay, you didn't think about a book, and yet he's a multi-million selling author too, right? That's because it's their story world that sells, not the books. The books are for sale, but they are not what's being marketed. Okay, and most authors try to sell a book. The book is just, it's like a ticket to a show. It's a portal to the story world. It's a means for your reader to get there. Okay, the book is just a ticket to the show and you have to sell the show, not the book. To sell books, you have to forget about trying to sell books. You have to build a mythology around yourself as the author and your characters and your story world for them to resonate with your target audience. And it's this mythology that draws people in and it's the mythology that excites your target audience and it's your mythology that sells books. Now, I know that sounds pretty tricky and difficult, but it also makes sense, right? And making a mythology is critical, absolutely critical to your success. And it's also a rather wonderful exercise in writing and in creativity and in story branding and in storytelling. So you're actually going to love it once you get the, get the idea. And I'm going to introduce you to some real world authors published by Dream Engine who I have helped to craft their mythology. And I'll let them tell you for themselves how it's worked for them out there selling books in the real world. And the really great news is that in the modern day, you don't need some huge budget, you don't have to be JK Rowling, you don't need to be a big celebrity, because social media will take you to a global audience of billions of people. You can find your target audience, the people for whom your mythology will resonate, and you only have to appeal to a tiny percentage of that population to start to get some traction and to start to make some sales and to make some money. And you can do this effectively for free on social media, and I'm going to show you how. So on top of the marketing course and on top of the story knowledge and on top of the story development process, which incidentally, all of that is critical to building your mythology. I'm also going to give you an entire video seminar for free to show you how to build a mythology around yourself, around your characters and your story world. And that mythology is what will sell your books. That video seminar will magically appear in your mailbox, all yours and all for free, as soon as you click below. So we have these five key 
areas. My guess is a great deal of this is something of an eye opener for you. Makes you think, right? You have talent, but just ticking that one box, okay? Publishers have checklists. They want you to fulfill a lot more than just having talent, having merit. That just puts you on the same plateau as millions and millions of other authors who also have talent and who are after the same prizes that you are, okay? You don't need to listen to me. Listen to Stephen King. He said, talent is cheaper than table salt. What separates the talented writer from the successful one is a lot of hard work. And these are the things you must work at. So if you don't want to get involved, well, that's fine. Of course it is. Go, my, go with my blessings and the best of luck. But if we meet up in five years time and you'll be like, Dave, what went wrong? I don't know what happened. I could have been a player and now I'm working in a bank. What, 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 what happened? Well, this is where you went wrong. You didn't take ownership of your future by putting in the work into these critical things over and above your writing that will set you apart from the crowd as a writer and you were left behind by those writers that do do these things. But that's for the future. You are at this critical junction now. What you do now will affect where you are in five years time. If what I have to say makes sense and you're willing to put in the work and to take ownership of your career and make positive and effective change happen in these ways, let's go. I'll do my bit, you do your bit, and all you have to do is click below and I'm going to start sending you my free author launch masterclass, a video seminar on each of these topics and a couple more. There's some bonus material. And in fact, there's a fair bit more beyond that. And I promise there's no silly tricks here. I'll tell you in the masterclass what's in, in this for me. It, I become a consultant for you in years to come. Once you've got success, I'll help you get success for free. But I'll explain all that during the masterclass. It's a free masterclass and it's going to set you on course from where you are today, a passionate, aspiring writer, to where you want to be, a published author, actually selling books. Just click below, answer a couple of questions about yourself and where you're up to in your writing life, and I'll give you exactly what you need to make that journey. And I promise faithfully, cross my heart and hope to die, I will not use your email address for anything other than sending you these videos and you can unsubscribe at any time, it's no problem. So you have loads to gain and absolutely nothing to lose, I promise. So let's get on with it. Click below, let's get these free video seminars flowing towards you and get you to a seriously good place as an author. Do it now and I'll see you on the other side.